some things are better off lost at sea, including this fish ensemble. Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on another video. In today's video, I'm super excited because we are doing the Choose My Birthday Dress video. Oh my goodness. I don't know why I'm excited seeing as every other time we've done this, it has gone so ridiculously wrong. And then also I've shopped from Pretty Little Thing again. I've bought like 400 pounds worth of dresses off Pretty Little Thing. Not remembering that last time I did this, it was literally like I paid someone to just vandalize my body. It was really just not a good look. Gosh, I hate it. It's making me angry. I thought I would come out looking like Mariah Carey, but instead I've come out looking like a sponge, like a dish sponge. You know, you got the little glittery bits at the back. That's why I feel like a dish sponge. Oh, I wanna dance with somebody. Oh, not you. Because you look like a sponge. <laughs> now, you might be wondering why I ordered this. Um, and you're not the only one. You're not the only one. I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't understand. I think it looks better on the model. Maybe it looks better on the model. It must have looked better on people. Oh my god, this is so bad. I'm disappointed in myself and I'm really sorry. Um. But we are going to be strong. Mission Fine Wine is back on. I'm turning 26 and I'm still on that mission to age like a fine wine. I don't know why I'm so excited to be 26. Like, I kind of just prefer that age to 25 for some reason. I just, it just sounds more fun. Like, hey, I'm 26. Like, that's fun. That's fun, right? Am I the only one? Or maybe it's because it's an even number. I don't know. I don't care. It doesn't matter. So this year for my birthday, I'm going to Barcelona, which is very exciting, very random and last minute. I just... Felt the need to book flights, you know, and go with my big sister, Kim, and I'm so excited. It's our first sister's holiday, like ever. I do have two sisters. Sadly, my oldest sister, Yama, can't join us because she's got the two most beautiful babies. Sorry. <laughs> but next time, more sister holidays to come. Let me know if you want me to vlog Barcelona, by the way. I could totally grab the cam out of the bag every now and then, tell you what we're up to. This hefty package arrived the other day. I can't really remember what I ordered, to be completely honest with you. I'm unsure. I'm hoping, I'm really hoping that another year older means another year wiser. And I haven't tried to be the Kylie Jenner of years gone by that I've just been content to be Sarah. Um, however, I also do want to look like a senorita because I'm going to Barcelona and I just feel like, I think I ordered a lot of red if I remember correctly, because I just want to be you know, a little, I may as well be sassy. People have called me sassy my whole life. May as well embrace it and like dress it. I did also go thrift shopping this year to try and find a birthday dress from a charity shop. Um, I'm still kind of editing the dresses that I got from there. Definitely watch that video too if you think there's anything from there that I can wear. I'm not as hopeful. I'm hopeful that I'm gonna have my birthday dress right here rather than somewhere else. I don't even know what I'm doing for my birthday. I assume we'll go for dinner, maybe go out for drinks. I have no idea. I don't even know. I might just end up putting on the dress and going to bed. <laughs> but either way, let's hope that it is a fine wine dress. Right, without further ado, let's start trying on clothes. <laughs> was still trying to be Kylie Jenner. It's very sparkly and um, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. I just don't like it. You know, I don't hate it. It's not making me want to burn the world. I got it in a size 10 because I think I'm more of a size 10 now and I just find jumpsuits impossible. Like my figure is just not what they think it is, if you know what I mean. Like it fits my thighs, but then it's loose on like the belly and the waist. And it just, there's a little bit too much crotch. There's a little bit too much going on here. I don't like the neckline. I, I don't like it. Don't like it. Not bad. It's not a bad start. I think that's the best start we've ever had, actually. Which is saying something, because this does look like sequined pyjamas. Oh, it is comfortable, though. It is comfortable. You know I like to be able to move, which is great. 
Oh. Dress number two. I literally. Um, this is in a size eight, so it fits up here. I could just about zip it up, but again, there's just room for the pair of hips that I don't hugely have. Um, my bum kind of takes up some of that material but just not all of it. So I don't really, do you see what I mean? How difficult it is buying clothes in my size. My body is just not whatever pretty little thing I think it will be. But I really like this actually. It's very overdressed. I will have to text Kimmer and tell her that I'm wearing a full floor length <laughs> ball gown red dress. And she just won't even care. She'll wear whatever she wants anyway. This, like look at this. Like if I stick my belly out, that's a nice amount of space for a food belly. So with every con, there's a silver lining. <laughs> Trying to be that emoji. Similar look without the bra. Would I wear a red lip with it or a neutral lip? I don't know, but I do like it. I know it is dramatic, but I don't care. I really just don't care. Okay, so this is... <laughs> This is dress number three, which right now is looking like a bit of a fiesta. A bit of a fiesta. But I'm not mad about it. Oh my goodness. I didn't take off the last dress for a really long time. I took like a bajillion selfies in it um, because I really, really like that one actually. And I just sent it to my sister and she was just like, you look like the dancing emoji. And I was like, that was the goal. Um, <laughs> so this one is cute. Probably looks a bit more like the dancing emoji, but it's a bit more like orange red than like a deep red, um, which is okay. I really don't know what I'm supposed to do with, oh, 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 <laughs> I was going to say I didn't know what I was supposed to do with the straps, but the straps hold it up and this gives a cheeky slip. Oh, I like a cheeky slip. I think a cheeky slip is like open back. It's like how to show skin, but in a classy way, like a classy hoe. At one time, my friend wore a really nice open back dress and I said, oh, I love it, classy hoe. She was super offended, but if she knew what I meant, she wouldn't have been. I... <laughs> actually really like that oh no oh no pretty little thing you have redeemed yourself i really like that i do also like the leg detail of this one which one do you prefer number two or number three i feel like on this one i can tell that it is too long for me um because of where the slit is i feel like it's supposed to be a thigh slit not a not a shin slit <laughs> also like this because you know, it not only allows room for the food belly, but it hides it as well. Breathing out, breathing in. You can barely tell because there's all this party going on. And so no one knows. I do like that. I think that's very considerate. Oh my goodness, I think I'm actually going to need your help this time. And not just to console me, but to help me choose which one do you prefer. And we're back to reality. <laughs> um... I feel like a fish. I feel like a like a fish. Yeah, trout. I think trout. Not not like a fancy fish. A trout. It feels a bit too big. It's in a size ten, which is again making me just not understand what size I am right now. But those other two dresses were a size eight, so maybe Pretty Little Thing sizes run big. I don't know. But when I shop at Urban Outfitters and Topshop, I'm a size ten right now. Um, it's just hideous. It's just hideous. Maybe if I put a belt on it, I could make it better. I don't really think it deserves to be made better. I think some things are better off lost at sea, including this fish ensemble. Okay, in case some of you like it, I will try and spruce it up and make it cute. I do like the colours though. Like if it was a nice outfit with these colours. It's not giving me senorita vibes. It's giving me more disco stew vibes and disco stew is is not how i want to start off my first day of being 26 so call me crazy but this is actually not too bad that's not too bad is it with a belt on i tighten the straps that is really not the worst should i go for a disco stew vibe I mean, I can be stew for one night. <laughs> it 
does look a little bit stressed on the straps. I don't know, what do you think? Yay, nay. I don't know if I'm just wishful thinking, but it's not as bad as I first assumed. The crotch, again, it's not made for short people. It's a little bit low, but it's quite comfortable. It's not itchy or anything like you get with a lot of other sequin outfits. Do you know what? I think if this was the only option, I could make it work. I really think I could. I'd probably wear my hair up. This is almost going too well and I am proud of myself. That is what we're here for, personal growth. 25 was a bit foolish, but 26 can make it work. Sorry, I was getting kind of hungry, so just grabbed <laughs> literally a slice of seeded bread. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, I'll just pose for you while I eat the bread. So this is it close up, it's like a lace material with an under bodice and again I don't hate it, like it feels like it looks like lingerie but it doesn't feel like lingerie, it feels like I'm covered, it feels like an outfit but it looks like lingerie but do you know what, I'm not mad about it, I'm not mad, wow father forgive me, it's a bit more out there than I tend to go but it's quite flattering because it's all black. It's very comfortable. Again, it is just too long. I need to shop in the petite section, but they never have nice clothes in the petite section. I have like five options and they'll all be just a bit naff. So if you know any good petite size, so like short people sized clothing companies, then please let me know. Maybe when I watch this back, I'll disagree, but it doesn't really feel too naked right now. It feels okay. It's only when you get up close and you realize that it's basically a bra and pants with <laughs> lace material over it. What do you think? Yay or nay? Let me know in the comments. This is the next dress. I have put the lights on, so I don't know if that will change the lighting. I was just worried that the lighting wouldn't be great. It feels like very cheap material. I feel like I'm gonna snag it just by looking at it. It's also like, I don't even know what to do with my abdomen right now. Like, I don't know <laughs> how to breathe. Like, it's not the most flattering. I feel like for me, because I have narrow hips, like you see these models and they're just like a Coca-Cola bottle, which is great, wonderful, beautiful, but then I'll buy the same thing and this dress is expecting me to do all of this and, I, and my, my hips are just like, nah, nah, not today. Like from the side, I guess it, it works. Like this is in a size 10 and um, I've tightened it with the straps. I'm braless with it. Um, so yeah, from the side I guess it works, but from the front I do feel very much abandoned and just like, oh I can't walk. <laughs> That's a slight issue. It's fine, I'm sucking it in. That's fine, but I don't want to be committing to sucking it in all night to be honest, or all day or whenever I wear this. I do love this colour, it's kind of like an orange rust, which I do enjoy. I'm just going to start again and stand very still because I've just realised that this is see-through and you can see my nipples so I'm going to have to blur it out and that would be easier to do if I'm stood still so <laughs> I can kind of see what it's going for it's like a jumpsuit is kind of classy a little bit cheeky I assume I'm supposed to put something on underneath the lace not the best fitting again but I'll just accept responsibility for that I got it in a size 10 so yeah I guess that is my fault the lace is super comfortable though and it is really pretty. The trousers are like a weird material, kind of like a crappy material to be honest. They're like, I don't even know, it just looks very synthetic, whatever that means. This is not the one for me, maybe it's the one for you. I don't know, let me know what you think. So I was about to take this off, then I remembered the last jumpsuit that didn't look too bad once I'd made an effort. So this is it with me making a slight effort. I don't think the belt adds much. I've more just used the belt to actually hike up the saggy crotch. Um, but I, I do like it actually. Oh you guys, this feels weird. It feels like I should be in despair, hating everything, but I just don't. And I'm glad, but it's kind of boring. Oh, is that what 26 is gonna feel like? Boring happiness. I kind of miss the drama. This is just with a strapless black uh, bra, so pretty simple. 
I actually really like the top bodice. I think that looks so pretty and really beautiful. Yeah, not too bad. Let me know what you think. So this is the next dress. It is very pretty. It's very cute and pretty. I think I ordered this one because I was like, what if I don't want a full length dress? What if I want something a bit shorter? It does dance quite nice. Yeah, it's cute, but it's, I would say this is more of like a day dress vibe, um, which is cool. I don't know, I just, I don't love it. And every time I lift my arms up, it, it turns me into a schmuck. What were they called? Those things that everyone wore for so long. Oh, a poker? A poker contest? No. Oh, what are they called? The things you drape over your shoulders and then they just drag around. What were they called? A pinu? It's pee something. I can't remember. A bed sheet with a hole in the middle that you put over your head. They were very in fashion. This is what it feels like when the shoulders come up. Nice dress. Next dress. Just remembered. Poncho. I think they're called ponchos. Poncho. <laughs> this is the next dress. It is a very fitted, <laughs> um, kind of fishtaily, red-ish, orange-ish, gold-ish, who knows. Um, dress. Oh wow, it is really perking up my butt. <laughs> it is like very fitted, quite tight. I think I got this one in an eight. Um, yeah, so that's probably why. So that's the pattern a bit closer up. It is, it is nice. I do like it. I do like it. What do you think? I'm not like in love with it. I will quite easily take this off, but it is probably more appropriate maybe. The rest of the things that I bought were duplicates of sizes and bikinis. Um, so, well, one swimsuit plus this bikini and this maxi skirt and a kimono. So I'm going to show you this set and the kimono, but I'm not going to try on the swimsuit because <laughs> as much as I'm aware that the other stuff that I tried on was probably just as revealing as a swimsuit, I don't know, I'm just not... I don't know, I literally work out in a crop top and shorts, so maybe I'm a massive hypocrite, but either way, I'm sure I'll post pictures of them on my Instagram, so follow me on there if you want to see how the swimsuit came out. I mean, I have tried it on and it is nice, it's a little bit small, but I guess they all kind of are. It is the other swimsuit that I ordered. I think it's really pretty, so it's like a bikini, sorry, so it's a top and bottoms and then this kind of overskirt thing which is very flowy. The top is very far apart, you have to tie it here, so if you pull one of these strings it is quite literally a free-for-all um, and I've had to do it up very tight. I've literally had to pull the bikini and tie up the bikini, not just the string, because they were just so far apart. I don't know if mine are just closer together than the average woman's, I don't know. Um, I do like this overall skirt thing as well this kind of whatever you call it i do think that this is really pretty and i think i'll keep it i'm excited to wear that not just for this little long weekend holiday um but for future holidays as well i really like the neckline i think that's so unique i haven't seen one like this before They're pretty from behind as well i do feel like a butterfly which is cute so yeah what do you think do you like it yay or nay i really like that and that's it for today's birthday dress try on haul. I really enjoyed that. Oh my goodness. Is this what it's supposed to feel like? Is this what shopping is supposed to feel like? I feel excited and happy. I know which dress is my favourite. I loved the first long red one. I did also really like the rust dress, although maybe that was more like a 27th birthday than a 26th. You might be asking what the difference is, but it's just a, it's just the vibe. It's just the vibe. That's, that one had a 27 vibe. Let me know which ones are your favourite. I will put links to all the dresses in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Leave me a comment letting me know your thoughts. Make sure that you subscribe because I'm uploading a new video every single day for the whole of September. That's the aim. Whether it actually happens, we will see. Who knows? 26 could be like a new a new year, new me kind of thing. Um, so I might actually stick to it this year. A lot more videos, more like lifestyle videos. And then we'll be back to like health and fitness and workout stuff in October, okay? So if you only signed up for the workouts and now you're like, Sarah, stop showing me your dresses because I really don't care. Number one, ow, that hurts quite a lot. Number two, don't worry, because I will still upload workouts during this month too. And then come October, I'll be back to shutting up and squatting. 
so <laughs> Oh, also, if you've ever been to Barcelona, please let me know in the comments what I should do and where I should go. Apparently it's amazing and there's a lot to do, so I should probably make plans in advance. Uh, so yeah, let me know if there's anything that me and Kamer must see and do, any places we should eat, any nice restaurants which would let me wear that dress. <laughs> Or which I at least wouldn't feel like a complete fool wearing that dress too. Let me know. Okay, thank you so much. 